Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. I hope you're all having a very happy holiday season. Now, over the last few days, I did see this story, and it kept popping up in my timeline, so I decided to cover it. Now, it's coming from WCCFTech.com, and like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, for the longest time, I've said that I do believe that the next generation consoles will have some form of ray tracing inside of them. Now, a lot of people laughed it off and said that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I really believe for ray tracing to go to the mainstream that the consoles need to have it then of course more games would get developed with it and this would be better for gamers in general now over at sigvra asia 2018 which is an industry event gran turismo developer polyphony digital revealed that they're creating their own in-house real-time ray tracing tech now i'm going to play a little bit of this demonstration and i got to be honest with you guys it's not the best of quality but it was the best that i could obtain at this time now i find it very interesting that Polyphony Digital is developing ray tracing tech for its Gran Turismo game. The first question is why would they do this if the PlayStation 5 console is not capable of doing ray tracing? I don't think they would use all of this manpower and the resources on a wasted effort of ray tracing if it was not to appear in their next game. And of course, the next Gran Turismo game will be on the PlayStation 5. Now, a few months back, AMD did say that they will have ray tracing on deck in 2019 when ray tracing tracing goes to the mainstream. Now we know that the next generation consoles, both the Xbox and PlayStation iterations, will have AMD hardware in them. Now these consoles will have to last at least three to four years, and I can't see these consoles being developed without ray tracing in mind, especially the next generation Xbox console, which of course Microsoft is at the helm of DX12 ray tracing, which Nvidia is using at the moment. And I know some of you guys out there are going to say, oh, but Gran Turismo already has ray tracing. Now, now let's be honest, the ray tracing that is in the current version of Gran Turismo is not real-time ray tracing, it is baked, it is impressive nonetheless, but it is baked and not real-time ray tracing, which is much more expensive to do. Now I don't know if the consoles will have a full version of ray tracing, I just think they'll have some form of it. The fact that they're adding real-time ray tracing reflections in GT Sport lets me know that Sony is definitely thinking about ray tracing on the PlayStation 5. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think, so please leave your comments down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.